they not hence. Don't bring that mess over here. Don't uh uh-uh, uh don't bring that mess. Don't don't come over here with that mess. And so this is for the people that think that because you uh have the title of Christian, um, because you carry the title of a pastor. Uh, 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 what have you, and no, ain't nothing happened, so I don't want y'all to think that, you know, where, that I'm justifying something, because ain't nothing happened, because you know if something had happened, I'll tell y'all about it, shoot, I'm so honest with y'all, I'll tell y'all when I cuss somebody out, you know what I'm saying, because that's just how honest I am, because I ain't, I, I ain't got nothing to hide, I ain't, I don't, I don't, I don't have to live like that, I'm free, praise God, okay, so this is the thing about it, it doesn't matter what title or anything that you have, this is what he said to them. He says, "Come, they not hence." I wonder if yours say the same thing. My say, mine say, or uh, did um, if you got a new what, what I mean? Did somebody tell me if I'm reading it wrong. Some some somebody tell me because I, I mean I, I I need to get it right if I'm reading it wrong. But I know he said, "Come, they not hence." Come, they not hence. Come hence means come here. He put the word not. In front of hence, hence represents a a a unction, uh, a beckoning to or an invitation to come. He puts the word not in front of hence. Don't bring that mess over here. Don't bring that mess over here. So you got a right to control your atmosphere, to protect your atmosphere. You have a right. A lot of this losing in life is because somewhere along the line as Christians, we got convinced that we were just supposed to put up with anything. Just supposed to take anything and be all right with it. I, I'm still trying to get somebody to tell me what that said. Don't come with that turn the other cheek. And I'll break that down for you too. You know, I'm trying to still see what that said. Now, I'm reading in James chapter 4, and I'm actually reading the King James Version. Now, a lot of folks will say, you know, some folks say I, they don't deal with King James or whatever. They, you know, rather get them an a, a easier version to read or whatever, where the Lord reared me up on King James. I can very seldom read any other version. Um, it's this here. And so this is what mine says in verse 1. It says, from whence come wars and fightings among you? So he's addressing some people, it seems as though, right? He's addressing some folk, and he's saying to them that y'all tripping. Y'all got wars and fightings among you. Am I wrong now? Y'all go ahead and type it and tell me if I'm wrong. I ain't, I, 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 I ain't going to get mad at you about it. But tell me if I'm if I'm missing it. This is what this is what he's saying to them. This is the book of James, chapter one. He says, "Look, I mean, chapter four. I'm sorry, verse one. He says, "From whence come wars and fightings among you? You tripping? Y'all got a whole bunch of confusion going on. Why is this even going on among you? I tell you why. When people are not happy with their life." That's where that warring and the fightings come from. If you will find out how to be happy with your life and your purpose and walk that thing out, you will see that fighting and the wars begin to lessen. You, it, you, you, literally, some of it would mostly just be allevia, alleviated, just gone, you know. You will, you will literally see that because people that are happy with their life is in active pursuit of some things because, see, dreams get in front of you when you are happy with your life. Passion becomes a part of you when you are happy with your life. Determination is your portion when you are happy with your life. Motivation becomes your portion when you are happy with your life. And so Jesus said, hey, listen, let me say this to them. 
Jesus had to come in order for us to win in life. Jesus didn't have to come in order for us for salvation because salvation is perfect within itself. Heaven does not need any help. Earth is what's in trouble. How many of you ever prayed for heaven? I want to hear you, baby. Tell me. I want you to type it in. How many of you ever said a prayer for heaven? How many of you ever said, Lord, I just, I, I want, we, we need you to move in heaven, God. Oh, Lord, we need you, Father, to touch, God. Ooh, heaven is going through some changes right now, God. Ooh, Lord, look at how racism is moving in heaven. How many of you ever prayed that? No, you ain't prayed that, but I bet you you done prayed it about the earth. You done prayed it about the United States, and you done prayed it recently with the stuff that's been going on here. You see, see, heaven does not need any help. Where we need help is in earth, on earth, in earth. Jesus literally said the word in earth. He did not say on earth. He said <laughs> in earth. If you go read the Bible, see the translation, he says I-N, not O-N. In earth, right? And so this is where we have got to have him because if we do not have him in earth, if we do not have him in our life, then we will lose at life. Life won't be as successful as it is supposed to be. Hold that thought one second. I forgot to do something, Father. Lord, help me. I forgot to do. Hold that thought right now. Hold that thought. Stay right there, y'all. Stay right there. Where is this at? Where is it at? Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay, stay right there. Right there. Right there. Okay. Hold on. Jesus Christ. All right. Hold that thought. Just hold it. Hold it. Just hold it. something I was forgetting. Okay. Alright, let's go. Okay. So, back. I'm sorry. Thank you for staying with me. Okay. So, Jesus is saying that he has to come to help us to win in life. Heaven don't need us, y'all. I, I, I mean, I don't I don't know why. Where did that come from? Heaven is a beautiful place, as the song said. I want to go. No sorrow. What? What? Where you crying at? In earth. No pain. Where you hurting at? In earth. Jesus died so that we could have victory in life. That is the reason why he was born of a woman. Come on, people. That is why he was born of the Virgin Mary. He had to be born of a woman in order to defeat the things of life. Because he he already he won. When Adam and Eve fell, God didn't fail. When Adam and Eve made that, had that fall, God didn't fall. God didn't fall. We are like God fail. God didn't fall. Not at all. They did. He didn't need a savior. They needed a savior. Delphine needed a savior. This is the thing about it. They left from the spiritual state, Adam and Eve, left from the spiritual state that they were in and now became conscience, which brought them into what we call life, L-I-F-E. And it had a span 
of time connected to it. That's why he said you're going to die because there was a span of time that was now connected to what is life. They knew nothing about life before that fall. Nothing. But the fall introduced them to life. And it introduced them, it put them into a place as to where they were outside of the garden. They were outside of this spiritual. God help me. Oh, girl, you better, girl, you better teach this thing. I'm telling you. It put them in a place outside of the garden. They were no longer in this spiritual state. There was a awakening now to sin. There was an, an awakening to their appetite. There was this awakening to it now. So they're no longer in this spiritual state. Now they're in this place called life. And so the father, because he loves us so, and somebody ought to tell him thank you. Well, somebody just tell him thank you for that. Oh, my dude, I love you, man. Because the father loves us so. He's seen that we lost our place and was now suspended into a place called life as to where there was going to be time attached to us. And he said, I just cannot do them like that. I'm going to redeem them and show them how to win in life. See, life was supposed to be the original thing about life was supposed to be defeat. I wish y'all heard what I'm trying to tell you. See, God, I feel the Holy Ghost. The original thing about life was supposed to be defeat. That is the reason why sin got attached to life. Sin is not attached to heaven, y'all. Stop trying (laughs) to win in heaven. You've already won, baby. You got to learn how to win in life. That's why the enemy tries to kill your life. He will attack your life. As a little child, he began to attack my life. So many different things to happen to my life so that I would not become successful, so that I would not become someone that lives in peace, so that I would not become this preacher, that I would not become this teacher, that I would not become this woman woman of God, that I would not become this intercessor, that I would not become uh, this person of faith. That is the reason why the attack was sent. I got to attack her life because if she ever connects to the redemption that has been placed there for her life, then hell is going to be in trouble if she ever connects to it. And hell is in trouble right now because she connected to it after your life. So, they are kicked out of the garden, out of this place. And now since they're kicked out of this place, check out what comes from them. I'm going to show y'all something. They get kicked out. They, Adam knew her. You know what, you know, knew me. Adam knew her. She conceived a son. His name Cain. He knew her again. She conceived a son. His name Abel. Well, James chapter 4 says this right here, verse 1. From whence come wars and fighting among you? Boom. You see it? Do you see what I'm trying to tell you? If you do not win in life and connect your life back, to heaven, Lord, have mercy, please. Yeah. Oh, I got to get out of here. Jesus Christ, I got to get out of here. <laughs> oh, boy. If you do not connect your life back 
come, God, to heaven and the original intent for what heaven had for you, then there's going to be wars and fightings among you. I wish somebody would pray for me because, oh, Lord, help me. God done messed around and unlocked me in. Man, listen, look, why you do this? Why? Why? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, 